Hi, welcome to another episode of The Orminators. I am Chris Orr of The Orminators. And um, as you've seen in some of my previous videos, I've been building up a kind of a game room, I guess, and my old living room, dining room. I'm basically converting it into a game room and I've got all my arcade one-up cabinets there. Um, I did join the Kickstarter for the IR Arcade, uh, the Dragon's Lair. Um, so I'll be doing a, a video on that uh, when it ships. So maybe I'll do a little brief uh, synopsis of that so that people understand what's going on there as well. I think the Kickstarter is still going on, so maybe you have a chance to get in there, so maybe I'll talk about that. Anyways, um, if you notice the room behind me, actually, let me flip the screen here. So in some of my previous videos, um, you may have remembered that there used to be this gigantic table um, that could sit like six, almost eight people at it uh, there in the middle of the room, and it took up a huge amount of space given how narrow uh, the room is. Um, so I got rid of it, and I began to think about what theme, what did I want to do in the space? And I thought, like, since I was doing retro games and everything else here, I would do something kind of retro in that way. So I was actually looking for uh, 50s diners tables and uh, that sort of retro 50s look, but I couldn't find anything reasonable. And there's a few, there's actually, surprisingly enough, that was actually kind of hard to do, to even to even locate some companies that, that made those things. Uh, American Chairs turned out to be one, um, that that mostly focused on that, and that was good. But their their dinette sets, their table sets, including the chairs and everything else, was actually fairly expensive, and so I wasn't really ready to do that yet. So with that in mind, I kind of started looking at other ways that I could kind of give that sort of game room feel. And so I found, um, in addition to American Chairs, there was another company called Retro Planet, and they both offered fairly similar things um, as far as the height of the table, the diameter. So the basic form and function was the same. And they even offered a lot of the same themes, either sports related or um, in this case, um, I bought uh, the Coca-Cola themed one uh, a table and a couple of, of bar stools. And uh, um, the price differences were actually fairly close until you factored in shipping. Uh, if you were, if I went with American Chairs, for example, for what we're seeing here, um, and I'll go ahead and post some screenshots of, of what I was looking at, the um, the the tables and chairs were within you know fifty to one hundred bucks of each other. But uh, American Chairs shipping was going to be something like almost two hundred bucks, or one hundred and fifty to two hundred bucks to ship. Whereas um, um, uh, Retro Planet, if I wanted it fast. Uh, would have been maybe a hundred bucks, but they also had a a home delivery um, off option that didn't cost anything at all, so it did not add any additional charge or cost to the table in question. So um, I'm going to go ahead and um, show you the box that it came in. It just came in today, and it literally it only took like a week and a half, which was awesome. So good for you, Retro Planet, uh, and if. Looking at some of the other stuff that they offer, they've got signs and other sort of game room or or diner or retro sort of uh, uh, images. Like, for example, the uh, the Mountain Dew sign here. It's not from Retro Planet, but it, they have that sort of um, uh, kitschy sort of swag that you can use to decorate. So I'll probably be uh, going back in there to, uh, to buy some other stuff now that I've found them. So in any case, here is the box that it came in. Um, this is just the table. The stools actually are coming separately. I would have hoped that they would have sh showed up at the same time, given that they were all shipped out at the same time. So I'm not quite sure why uh, that happened that way. But I'll uh, I'll start with this. I'll build it and then show it to you and show you what it looks like in the game room. And um, then when the stools come in, I'll, I'll I'll add those in and then I'll edit this whole thing together. That way you can and then show you what the whole thing looks like in there. So let's get going. So there is the table from Retro Planet in all of its glory. This is the uh, the ribbon logo here. There were three or four different versions of this tabletop. It is 
30 inches wide, 42 inches tall, which is a little tall for the stools that I had, but I knew that was gonna happen because um, uh, I guess that's why I got the matching, uh, a couple of matching stools to go with this so that me and a date can eat dinner <laughs> or eat here reasonably enough or it's a place for when I've got people over enjoying the game room, they'll be able to uh, set their beers down and uh, and play games. So, stools are coming. Those will be added in next. I'll just tack that onto this video before I post it. All right. So the stools just came in. Looks like they may already be built, except the backs that just probably need to be assembled on there. So we'll go ahead and pull those out and get those assembled and uh, see what they look like as part of a set. And there you have it, my Coca-Cola vintage style pub table and bar stools. I got the ones with the backs, um, partly because I know that if I have a few to drink, um, <laughs> I don't want to lean back and and uh, fall off a bar stool since it's a little bit it's a little bit higher than uh, than a regular chair. But uh, yeah. So the game room is coming together nicely. I am foregoing an official grown-up adulty sort of dining table in favor of this fella right here, which I think looks pretty damn cool. So that's just me. Thank you very much for watching this sort of randomy sort of uh um, video here. I thought this would just be something, another little piece of content that uh, people might want to see and hear about. Uh, again, I got these items from Retro Planet, and they've got all sorts of different selections there, um, as far as like diner stuff and uh, uh, tables and chairs and uh, other kitschy sort of swag that goes up on the walls. So uh, these particular elements here, these chairs and table made in the USA, which is nice. Um, they feel quality they don't feel cheap um given you know the reasonable price that i feel like i paid for it so if you like this video give it a thumbs up give it a share subscribe help me grow my channel thank you very much for watching